I'm standing here in front of the Sacramento Convention Center where hundreds of people are gathering for the 2016 Cybersecurity Symposium. If you look in any direction, just as in any American city, you'll see people using their iPhones, their smartphones, their tablets, or their laptops. So we decided to go out and find out just how safe people are with these devices. How often do you change your passwords? A, monthly, B, at least once a year, or C, I seldom change it. A, monthly. I change my passwords every month. Uh, probably once every three weeks. Really only when, if the need arises, um, probably not as much as I should. Which of the following do you use your smartphone for? A, to connect with family and friends, B, to research the internet, or C, to conduct bank banking or financial matters, or D, all of the above? D, all of the above. All of the above. I do everything on my phone. All of the above. All of the above. Have you ever been a victim of identity theft? Yes. Luckily, no. I have not. Lucky. No, and I really hope that I never am. So as you can see, we had quite the range of answers. But you can do a few simple things to make sure your devices stay safe and that you are protected from identity theft. Change your passwords regularly. Do not open any emails you don't recognize with attachments. And do not store any banking or financial data or any sensitive data on your smartphones. For a complete list, make sure to visit oesnews.com. I'm Rob Mayberry with Cal OES.